I call this drink the farmer's market, and the reason is that you could really put anything in it from the farmer's market. It's a savory drink, and I'm sort of all about the savory drinks. Like, it doesn't all have to be berries and fruits and flowers. So uh, for this one, it's um, cherry tomatoes. You can use anything, but I'm actually growing these grafted tomatoes. These are incredibly cool. They've been grafted onto sturdier rootstock, so they're more productive and more vigorous. And this one is two tomato plants grafted onto one, so it's actually cherry tomatoes, sun gold, and sweet million on one plant. So it's kind of this combo tomato plant. Also, um, some pepper, you have to make up your mind, hot pepper, mild pepper, I'm gonna put in one of each, a little jalapeno, a little sweet pepper, and of course, some cucumbers. So in this case, these are these little Mexican sour gherkin cucumbers. Um, what else? Cilantro, and I've got a ton of cilantro growing, so I'm just gonna actually take it right off the planter and put it straight into the cocktail shaker. And then we'll also put in some of this Red Venture celery. This is a vodka drink. And since we're calling it the farmer's market, I thought I would use potato vodka. And believe it or not, this is actually potato vodka from Idaho. So very American potato vodka. That's an ounce and a half. That's a standard serving. If you want two ounces, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Little Worcester sauce. Now, I actually use Annie's because it's the only one that's vegetarian. And that's it. So, muddle it. You really wanna muddle all this well to get all the flavor out of the vegetables and especially to get all the juice out of the tomatoes because this is supposed to be a very tomato-y drink. All right, grab some ice and shake. Strain it into your glass. Look at that beautiful color. This is all about the tomatoes. Drop in some ice and tonic water. Use good tonic water. This is Q, which is fabulous. It does not have artificial flavors. It does not have uh, nasty sweeteners in it. It's really dry and really good. So it is worth the money to get good tonic water. Three or four ounces. Garnish with the cucumber and the tomato. You can put a little celery in there for garnish, and there it is. Mmm, that was fabulous. This is really a vegetable garden in a glass. I mean, it's so fresh and so good. Mm -hmm.